Welcome to Candida Kitchen, where we are cooking for a healthy and healing gut. I'm Alana, and today we are going to be talking about bread. Whether you're on a low calorie diet, a low carb diet, or a restricted diet, bread is always up for controversy. And people love bread. Let's face it, it's addictive and it's so good and soft and we use it in so many different areas of our life. So a lot of people really need to cut bread out of their life for a variety of reasons. Let's talk about why bread is such a problem food. Wheat is one of the number one food allergens known to man. It causes all kinds of gut problems. It can cause leaky gut. Wheat has been connected with mental illnesses and depression, as well as a lot of allergies, people who have celiac disease and are just generally gluten sensitive. Another reason is standard bread products that you'll buy in the grocery store. The carbohydrate and the sugar content together will actually raise your blood sugar levels. It has a glycemic index higher than table sugar. And lastly, yeast. If you are someone who's suffering from candida, you can't have yeast. And it's not easy to find yeast-free bread unless you're making your own. So today we are going to make a flax bread. And there are so many wonderful ingredients in this flax bread recipe that are good for your gut and are going to keep you full for a very long time. So the basis of this bread recipe is flax meal. And I love using flax I use it in a lot of my recipes for a lot of reasons. First of all, flax is full of fiber and it's high in protein as well. And it's very high in the omegas, the omega vitamins. And this is really, really important for reducing inflammation, as well as the fiber that's gonna keep you full for a long period of time. And it's also going to aid in elimination if you are having digestive issues and elimination is a problem for you. So including flax in your diet is fantastic. Uh, we're using coconut flour, which is of course low in carbs. And we're using a little bit of chia seed. I've made here a chia seed paste, which is just one teaspoon of chia seeds with two tablespoons of water, and it's gelled up very quickly. And this is going to be used as a binding agent as well as added fiber. Great. <laughs> uh, we are using coconut oil, five eggs, the, the standard recipe is not sweet. It can be a sweet or savory. You can customize this bread recipe however you like. I use just a little bit of sweetener to give the bread just a touch of sweetness, but you can actually make this recipe a sweet bread by adding more sweetener and adding any berries that you like. Uh, I'm using sunflower seeds to put on top of the bread for added fats and it's just delicious texture as well. So let's get cooking. We have five eggs, one half cup of both coconut flour and ground flax, a quarter cup of melted coconut oil, a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of chia seeds in two tablespoons of water to make a chia paste, one teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of salt, and optional toppings and fillings. I'm using sunflower seeds as a topping and a little bit of agave as sweetener half a cup of sifted coconut flour, half a cup of ground flax, salt. A quarter cup of coconut oil, teaspoon of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of sweetener and two tablespoons of water. You can also use coconut milk or almond milk. I'm just using water. Chia seed mix. Now add the dry ingredients to the wet. There you go, nice and thick.
Thank you for cooking with me today at Candida Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed this bread recipe. You can use this bread savory as your toast in the morning for breakfast or for sandwiches in the afternoon, or if you're just feeling low on energy and you really need that carb fix, a slice of this will really satisfy you and keep you going throughout the day. You can top it with chia seed jam, which I'm going to teach you coming up, or you can top it with butter or whatever it is that you like that suits your diet. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and my mailing list at ilanahealth.com. See you next time.